Alrighty, man. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Real Hood Life series. And as you guys can see, right here before you, we are your boy Franklin, chilling at his uh, his house, man. Y'all already know. We're at the other house over here. Now, today, in today's episode, we actually got another uh, another job to do. Hold on. Actually, really quick, man. Let me turn my audio down on my mic. I actually forgot to do that before I started recording. There we go. That should be a little bit. That should be a lot better, actually. Because one thing I noticed about my audio settings is that they're way too loud. So that should fix it, and we shouldn't have no more problems. I usually forget to fix that. That's why I never did it. But we, we're good to go now, man. We're good to go now. The boy is in there trying to get him a little snack. All right. So I kind of want to drive the Escalade. We ain't driven that in a minute. It's been parked in that one spot since we moved here. So let me go to move the. Oh, I did not mean to climb on top of my Lambo. But yeah, we're gonna go to move this guy out the way. But yeah, today, today's episode, man, we have a uh, another delivery to do with the construction um, with the construction uh, workers uh, vehicles. Like we're gonna be using the dump truck and uh, we're gonna use the dump truck and a in the trailer to transfer a. Um, we're transferring a uh, what you call. It? I forgot what they, I forgot what it's, uh, the Cat 229, I forgot the actual name that go with it, but, yeah, we gotta transport uh, one of those guys, they got some road work going on on the Palomino uh, Highway, so we gotta make sure that we drop this stuff off over there for them, and then we can go ahead and uh, make our way back, because there is a mountain house that I want to go ahead and check out, uh, that's actually like way over on the other side of the map, so I kind of want to go ahead and check that out. And if you guys wanted to, we could put it on the market, or we could have Franklin live there and uh, move there. Oh, damn, I was not trying to do that. All right, so let's go to make our way down. I'm going to have to move, uh, rearrange the cars a little bit because they're all on one side now. <laughs> but all right, so let's go to make our way on over to our shop location because that's where we got to go to pick up. Um, that's where we got to go to pick up uh, the... Uh, the truck, the dump truck, and the trailer. So we're going to make our way on over there, man. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this episode here today. If you guys do, man, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Really would be greatly appreciated. And uh, also, I'm gonna, I'm still trying to really get my motivation back so that I can get back to three to four videos a day. Because recently I've just been doing like one to two videos a day, and that, that's really honestly due to the lack of motivation. It's like I'll be motivated only to only to record one or two videos and then after that it's like i don't want to do anything else for the rest of the day so hopefully i can you know not have to deal with that today and we can go ahead and get more videos done i'm trying to get because i got two gta 5 ideas that we're going to be doing today and then i want to probably do gta 4 and forza horizon 4 after but see that's where that's where i just don't know man i just don't know I always try to plan ahead and you know usually I always mess that up like I plan ahead and then procrastination kicks in and then next thing you know my mood is gone and the motivation is gone and it's like it's like an endless cycle and it's like the only way to break that cycle is to try and stay motivated or figure out what's causing me to not be motivated and I don't even know like I really don't know what it is They take they was taking way too long to make that turn. So it's like man, you know, trying to get the motivation back, bruh. It's really a, a really strong, hard battle, bro. I ain't even gonna cap, man. You know, it's a lot of I know it's a lot of you guys out there who probably struggle with uh trying to stay motivated and stuff. And you know what I'm saying? And honestly, I'm even since I'm dealing with the same thing, it's kinda hard to even give advice or anything on it, because really it's like what advice can I really give that'll really work if nothing's working for me? So you know what I'm saying? So I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Just gotta, uh, just gotta, just hope that everything works out, and hope that, um, just hope that, uh, you know, everything, everything goes back to how it used to be, bro. Cause, man, I remember when I when first started blowing up on on YouTube, bro. Like my motivation was through the roof, bro. I was streaming so much, bro, and it's like now, it's like now I, I don't even. I don't even have the same motivation no more. And that's that's kind of due to the fact that I can sit here and do a ton of work and still nothing will really change. And by that, I mean, like, I can post two videos today and get 50,000 views 
or I could post five videos today and still get 50,000 views. Like nothing will change. It'll just be like, it'll be like I'm basically working more just to be working more, basically. So it's like, that, that's kind of why the motivation for wanting to know life and, you know, just straight drop tons and tons of videos. The main reason for that is just cause it, it just, it just, just no motivation for it cause it just don't seem to be working. So you know what I'm saying, and that's that's like just one of the main things, bro. Like that's a bad, that's a bad little habit that uh, that kind of done grew. I used to be able to like really stay motivated, and not have this issue, but hey, man, everybody has those uh, those little times where they just can't be motivated or they just can't get motivated. And that's exactly what I'm going through right now, man. Just can't stay motivated for some reason. Which, you know, it's an endless battle. I'm trying to, you know what I'm saying? Trying to. I mean, the fact that I'm still recording videos and stuff, even though I, I spend like half the day demotivated, that, that that says a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? That says I'm still motivated in some type of way, still trying to get things done. But, all right, so we done made it over here. Here's the dump truck. They had it dropped off in front of my shop. So, we got the dump truck and we got the, um, damn, what they call it? Man, you see, the, the, the Cat 229, I forgot the actual... And it's running. Okay, they left it running. But I forgot the actual name for it. All right, let's go ahead. Let's drop these ramps. So that we can go ahead and uh, load this guy up. All right, I think it's the trunk. Yeah. All right, here we go. So we done drop ramps. We're going to go ahead and hop on into this guy, get it loaded up. That's the only thing I don't like about this is that it warps you in and out of it. Only because there's kind of no way to actually get in. Like, I don't think there's an animation for it. So, it kind of makes sense on why you just warp in and out. But, you know, they could have probably at least found something. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Alright, we're going to go ahead and sit this guy right here. There we go. Let me use that to level it. All right, so let's go ahead and get it attached, and then we're gonna go ahead and get the ramps uh, pulled up, and we're gonna continue on the rest of the job. All righty, man. We're good to go, and it sounds like the engine is just gonna keep running for it. Like, I can't stop it. Like, we've gotten in and out of it, and it's, it still runs, so. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go ahead and we'll just leave that alone then. Uh, we're gonna have to load. Oh wait, wrong menu. Wrong menu. We're gonna have to load, uh, unload it anyway, so we'll have it. We'll have the engine turn off that way. Go to close the trunk so we can get the ramps pulled up. There we go. Let me know what you guys think about this for sure. So we got the gravel in the back of the truck. I have no idea where we're gonna dump that out because y'all know the. You know we can't dump anything really. Like the uh, the dump truck. The the. Oh, man, I feel like I'm so tongue twisted right now, man. The dump truck, uh, the, 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 um, I forgot what they called it. That's why I get so tongue twisted. But yeah, there's, there's no actual control for, uh, releasing it up and down. So, yeah. Let's just go ahead and make our way on over to the location where we got to go ahead and drop off the road work stuff. It's over here on the Pal uh, Palomino Highway, like I did tell you guys. So we're going to go ahead and make our way on over there. So that we can, uh, you know what I'm saying, we can get this on and pop now. And then after this, we got to come back, get back in the Escalade. And then we need to go ahead and make our way to go check out this mountain house. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of the episode. And uh, we're going to see what's up with this mountain house. Because I kind of do. I kind of do when I actually look at this. All I did was really test it to make sure everything loaded up fine. So, you know what I'm saying? That's that's really the, the best part about it, man. Everything loads up fine for it. I feel like you guys may actually like that house, too. So. Oh, yeah. And another thing, man, a lot of you guys actually didn't want me to drive in cinematic view like this. You guys really didn't like it too well or too much. I ain't even gonna lie, man. It's, it's just, it just looks good. I, I don't know. I just really like it because it, it's like it's some different camera angles. From what than what we're normally uh, always getting. I'm not gonna drive in uh, driving this camera angle like this the whole time though. Just a little bit. I almost cut them off, so that means I'm close to that wall. Yeah, see, it's kind of hard to drive in cinematic view though. 
the main reason why, you know, I usually kind of don't do it. All right, that's enough. Oh, why the ramps? Yeah, I see the ramps glitching. They're pretty hot right now, but okay. All right, so yeah, man. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Let me get in my lane. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the episode nonetheless. Some of you guys were saying that Franklin should start a construction company, so we're probably going to end up doing that real soon. We'll go ahead and have Franklin uh, invest and spend some money on the uh, construction equipment that, we, uh, that we're that we going to need. We go ahead and do that. Uh, we need to bring back this dunk dealership too. So that's definitely going to be another thing that we're going to be bringing back. Look at that. Like, look at the ramps. I don't know why the ramps are so glitched up like that. But okay. As long as it don't crash my game. I don't care. As long as it don't crash my game. I don't care. But yeah, man. So, hopefully you guys do enjoy the videos. I think I just said that like three, four times already. Jesus, Nukem. Jesus, man. It's just, I'm, I don't know, man. I'm just really trying to get a lot of stuff done. Why? Damn, they're going real slow. I'm gonna get over because we're we're gonna have to like merge over it and like flip. We're gonna get on the left side, like on oncoming side. That's the side that we're gonna need to be on uh, to drop this off. I may just have to fix the trailer. I'm seeing a little bit of glitching with that trailer right now, so I'm definitely gonna have to probably do some changes to it. Hopefully we're good though. Hopefully, it, I'm just hoping it doesn't crash my game. That's my only thing. I'm just hoping that it does not crash my game. All right, so we got half a mile remaining. We're gonna be able to pull up, and we're gonna see. We're gonna see uh, how we're gonna actually deliver this. And uh, yeah. I don't know, I just went silent right there for a second. But yeah, we're finna pull up right now. We should be seeing the construction site uh, shortly. All right, here we go. I actually didn't even know how far down it was, but there it is right there. And we got a lot of people actually swerving, like, slow down. Why are y'all not slowing down? Like, look at that, everybody's literally swerving to avoid that. All right, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to go all the way around so we can merge over and flip around. Oh, the trailer fixed itself now, okay. I don't know how that happened. I didn't even do that. Okay, all right. Whatever, shoot, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I ain't complaining. They finna hit my trailer. Jesus, I forgot. This is not like a American Truck Simulator. For some reason, I don't know why. I got the American Truck Simulator like feeling that they were gonna just slow down and stop for me. <laughs> Playing too much ATS, man. All right, so here is the uh, construction site. They really didn't even start on anything. Looks like they're still planning. So, uh, yeah, we'll, I'll actually pull a wheel back in and drop it off right there. Since no one's going to be in this lane with us. Look at that, man. Literally, almost everybody's swerving. Some folks even crash into the barriers. So, you know, like, they, they should just slow it down. Look at that. Traffic's actually building up down there right now. That's kind of crazy. I didn't expect traffic to really build up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and drop it off right here. Let's go ahead and hop one out. We got to drop the gravel off and stuff too. So let me go ahead, let's hop on to here first. We gotta drop the ramps. Go open the trunk. All right, now let's go ahead and let's hop on into this guy. All right, so let's go ahead and get it unhooked and uh, yeah, we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna make it happen. Oh boy, I started unhooking and it looks like we got a traffic jam. Oh, we're gonna have to hurry up. Oh, let me look that up. We're gonna have to hurry up so we can get the hell up out of here. They got a traffic jam. Alright, here we go. Look at this, man. Traffic is backed the hell up. <laughs> Shit. Alright, man, we're gonna get this gravel. Uh, we're gonna get this gravel uh, dropped off too and then we out. And we out. Oh wait, my ramps are already up. Okay, that's good to know. All right, let's go to get this gravel dropped off, and we out.
All right, man, we are now emptied. We don't have nothing in the truck, nothing on the trailer. Let's go ahead and let's make our way uh, back to where we need to go so that we can go ahead and uh, we can get back in there Escalade. We're gonna drop this truck off at the front of the shop because we, we really don't need it no more. So uh, yeah, we're done with this. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go check out this, uh, this mountain uh, house. See what you guys think about this mountain house. And yeah, man, so I will actually see you guys in a few seconds once we actually pull up to uh, once we pull up to where the Escalade is at, I'll go ahead and uh, catch up with you guys. I don't want you guys to sit through this same drive twice. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys in a second. We need to get some gas first, though. So, let's go ahead and put some diesel. Well, not gas, but diesel. We need to go ahead and put some diesel. Some diesel in the truck. So, let's go ahead and do this. So, yeah, man, I'll catch you guys in a second once we actually make our way. Uh, to where the escalator's at. Alright guys, we are back. And I ain't even gonna lie to you guys. My game did crash. So, uh, yeah, the truck is no longer here. It, you know, we already delivered it and all that. We, we did our job, man. We did our job. Let's go ahead. Let's make our way on over to this, uh, this mountain house, man. This mountain house is actually over here. So, yeah, we got a good little drive to actually go ahead and make to actually get there. And it looks like we're gonna have to take this exit right here to get there. Or, no, actually, I can go this way. Yeah, I can take that exit. All right, we're going to take that exit instead. All right, so, yeah, man, you guys can let me know in the comment section if you guys want us to go ahead and um, sell this house or buy it. You know what I'm saying? Like, put it on the market. We can put it on the market, make some money. Or we can go ahead and we can buy it. And it could be Franklin's little house. But at the same time, this house is kind of like, it's like out, out. It's out there. You know what I'm saying? So, can't really, uh... Can't really do too much, you know what I'm saying? Can't really do too much. I'm gonna have to, um, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna have to see, man. We already living in the country, so if we move over here, then we're really gonna be living in the middle of nowhere for real. Plus, I only think this Escalade will be a suitable car to even make this drive, but uh, we, we should be fine, we should be fine. I'm going to make this, uh, make this drive real quick. So hopefully you guys do enjoy the uh, house. I know, man, I done said that like 10 times, man, Jesus. All right, I'm actually gonna go ahead and try and get another uh, GTA 5 video recorded today, though, after this. And you guys are gonna get these videos today, man. We're gonna try and keep the grind going, man. And no matter no matter how demotivated I get, man, gotta keep the grind going. And then also, this video is taking a lot longer to record than it should, only because things keep coming up, man. It's like, like I had to answer the phone for like two, three people, and I had to call some people. So it's like, man, this, this video done, it done took like an extra 10 15 minutes to record than it should have, but it, it's all good. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? We live for this. We live for this. Go around this dude here. Alright, so here's the road that we're about to take to go and look at this house. So you guys can let me know what you guys think about it. Over here in the country, bro. Look at this man so you see this is like a dirt path i really don't think this would be a good path for the escalade but this is one of the main and only cars that we could really get a hold of right now to make this drive man we could have used the uh that 78 f100 uh that we just recently been driving but it was at the other house and for some reason that car is actually giving me some glitches and it's not loading correctly so yeah <laughs> that's why we haven't been driving that uh, you know, real, uh, really, this uh, the the uh, persistence mod right now that I'm using that comes along with the tra uh, drug trafficking mod, or yeah, the trafficking mod uh, is actually giving me some issues right now. So I'm gonna have to restart it again, and yeah, redo all my cards again. I'll do that at another time, though. We, you know, what I'm saying I ain't really too worried about it. It's working fine at the moment. It's just a couple cards aren't uh, spawning in the way they should be. So yeah. Man. See, we should have got a dirt bike or something for this trail. Instead of driving, instead of driving the Escalade, we should have got, we should have used like a dirt bike or something. It's really what I wanted to do. But hey, man, it's all good. It's all good. All right, this is a narrow patch. I think we. I feel like we've already been over here before, but I don't remember 
being over here. I remember. Never mind. I do remember a house that we uh, we actually stayed at a house. Oh shit! Oh boy. Oh okay. We actually stayed at a house that was over here. <laughs> Y'all didn't see that, man. We didn't flip, but yeah, we actually stayed at a house that was over here. But I'm not sure if it was in the same spot or not. But there's the house right there. Let me go ahead and pull up there so I can show you guys. All right, so we done made it out here. This is uh, a whole another house right here. Come with a helicopter pad. This is a garage right here. It's the only reason why I want to bring a dirt bike is because this kind of seems really narrow. Go ahead and park right here. Hey, I had a spot just for me. Just for me, man. All right, so let me go to show you guys starting with the helicopter pad over here. So you see, man, we got us a nice hella much chopper pad, man. So if we did end up living here, we'd have a helicopter. I don't know why there's an FIB helicopter here, but there's a helicopter here. All right, so let's come on over here. All right, oh, whoa. Go the way. Can I climb? No, can't climb that, okay. Oh, well, I should have known that. I didn't see the broken, uh, I didn't see the broken leg in the middle. All right, let's go ahead and go to the house now. The, I'd say the only thing I don't really like about this house is that you really have to walk pretty far. Not really, like, for, for a house that you live at, you gotta walk pretty far to your garage. Like, there's no there's no connection from the house to the garage. It's just, it's just there's a garage, and then, like, 30, 40 feet down, uh, down the same trail, there's a house. But here's the uh, first floor. Got the kitchen right there by the front door. That's kind of a bad thing. I ain't even gonna lie. That's kind of a bad thing. Like, what if a fire break out and the only exit is blocked off? Like, that, that's bad. But then again, you can break this glass right here, so, you know. Oh, this is a, oh, I like that. That's pretty clean. That's a, a, like the second, the way the second story is, that's pretty clean. Oh, there's a dog in here. Okay, I don't know whose dog that is, but yeah. I'm guessing this is where a little storage goes. I see some fresh fruit boxes up there. Full table, dining table. I know that I table. So we got two dining tables, kind of in the same area. That actually doesn't look too bad though. Like you think that's kind of pointless, but it doesn't really look that bad. All right, let's go upstairs. See what's upstairs. All right, here's the bedroom. Whoa. Okay, so the bathroom being directly when you come upstairs, that's a no-no. All right. Cause it's like when people are staying over here and they come upstairs while you're just, you know, just ain't doing your business, that yeah, you gonna be stuck right with up. All right, so I'm guessing this is like a pre oh yeah projector. I see it up there, projector. Wow, that's that's real cool actually. We got some record labels in here. Oh, we better have Franklin hit the stew. You know what I'm saying? Franklin about to be in the studio. Got the whole setup right here. Got the bed. A decent little view. Well, it's not even really a view. This is where the view really is. You get a full view of the ocean, bruh. A good little view. Yeah, let me know what you guys think about this house. Let me know what y'all think about this. Should we sell it or should we buy it? Should Franklin live here every now and again? This could be his little mountain house, uh, you know, vacation getaway type of thing. Or should we just go ahead and put it on the market? And uh, yeah, we'll just make some money off this house. So let me know in the comment section which uh, which one you guys think we should do. I'm going to show you guys everything that's in the garage. You see, there's a, there's a motorcycle right here. Okay. Work area. Okay, okay. See, a little storage stuff, a little storage stuff. All right, so hopefully you guys did enjoy. Oh wait, we gotta get into the whip. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, man. Make sure you guys drop a like down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Links are in the description down below. And I will catch you guys in the next episode or live stream, man. Peace on out.